Hello, good morning, my dear people of Biafra land. Hello, good morning, Nigeria. Good morning, the lovers of freedom all over the world. Good morning, the lovers of uh, our dear leader, Mazin Nandi Kanu. I bring to you good tidings this morning. I come in peace. I still remain your one and only Okute Delito from Okute Delito Corner, bringing to you this Tuesday's morning edition of the Biafra News titled uh, uh, federal government appeal at Supreme Court against Mazin Nam de Kano. We are going to look into this uh, news to know exactly what the, the government is uh, appealing on the release of our dear leader and uh, the motivator, the king of the jungle. He is the lion himself. I, for me, I'm, I'm saying that uh, this step they are taking is very wrong. And they will regret it at last. Please tighten your seatbelt because the pilot is about to move. I still remain the one and only, the talkative, the talking thing that never rests until I give my people the news that they their heart desires on daily basis. Please, let's move straight into the business of the day. Don't not talk the that because I am here for you. Federal Government of Nigeria appeals at the Supreme Court challenging the judgment of the Court of Appeal which ordered the release of our dear leader, Mazi Namdekanu, leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra IPOP, did not come as a surprise, but it holds questionable value for enduring resolution of all issues to the matter. Before now, this, the posturing of officials of the government did not leave anyone in doubt about the discomfort of the government with the court uh, appeal court ruling. The way the appeal was, uh, the, the secretary filed the, the detracted substantially from promise by officials of the government that they will inform the public on what they intend doing with the appeal court ruling the promise was not kept until scanty until scanty information crept in that the attorney general of the federation abubakar malami filed an appeal at the apex court challenging the discharge of our dear leader mazin nam de kanu by the court of uh, appeal malami is asking the supreme court to stay the execution of the judgment of the appellate court he argued among others that the Court of Appeal erred when he struck out the pending charge against Mazin Nam Dekan on the ground that the trial court no longer possessed the, the requisite jurisdiction to continue the trial because, because of the manner Khan was returned to the country upon jumping bail, according to them. The Court of Appeal had in its judgment discharged Kano from the 15 count ter uh, terrorism charge brought against him by the federal government of Nigeria. In a, in a, in a unanimous uh, judgment, the appellate court faulted the process by which Nam Khan was brought before a federal high court to answer a 15 count terrorism charges. The appellate court heard that the federal government violated international convention on terrorism which is signatory to when it legally arrested Kano in Kenya and extraordinarily brought him to Nigeria for trial. It further held that the, the warrant of arrest issued against him was not enough reason or excuse for the government to violate international convention and charters. Having resolved issue, issue, issue one in favor of the appellant, which uh, deals with the, with the jurisdiction, the appellate court order of justice Binta Iyako, who ordered appellate to answer to counts 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 8, and 15, is set aside, terminated and dismissed. Appellant is accordingly discharged. The appellant court held. But soon after the judgment, Malame in a statement said, Kanu was only discharged and not acquitted that appropriate legal uh, options before the authorities will be exploited and communi uh, communi communicated with the public accordingly. This is total uh, babash, it's total nonsense, total rubbish. Absolutely rubbish, Malami. I wonder the kind of uh, school of law you attended. 
Your peoples who take an oath to maintain law and order and to respect the rule of law, but uh, the reverse is the case. I wonder what kind of law or jurisdiction this country called Nigeria is practicing. His position was spotted by the National uh, Security Council, which uh, met thereafter. The Minister of Police Affairs, Mahmoudou Ding Yadi, who briefed the media, said it was noted that Kanu was discharged but not acquitted. He said that uh, the government is considering the appropriate action to be taken on the matter and that Nigerians will be notified of the position taken in due course. So the decision of the government to appeal the ruling of the Court of Appeal was quite predictable, but the stance of the government came with mixed feelings given the undertone that it is only committed to the legal option in resolving the Kano matter. This runs contrary to the expectations, especially from leaders of the Southeast, who saw the decision of the Court of Appeal as a veritable window for the government to explore the political option to a lasting resolution to all issues to the Kano matter. The Southeast Council of Traditional Rulers, Archbishop and the Bishop have viewed the appeal court judgment as timely and the unprecedented opportunity to overcome the challenges of trust that had obstructed the path to peace and opens the window to winning the hearts and minds of the Biafran people. The call for the unconditional release of Mazen Namdekano to those the current tension across the Southeast and create an atmosphere of collaboration towards a constructive resolution of the current issues. But events have shown scant regard for the cherished opinions of leaders of that zone. When it is recalled, President Mamadou Buhari had told the delegation led by the elder statesman Basulike Amechi, who had asked him to release Kano that he left, he left that decision to the court. One is amazed that he failed to capitalize on this opportunity to demonstrate uh, uh, statesmanship and leadership which is because he is Mumu. The government has squandered another opportunity to demonstrate that it is genuinely committed to enduring solutions to all issues to the crisis in the Southeast. But that is, un that is not entirely surprising, as it bears a trademark portion of the current regime to affairs that concern that region. The allure of the legal option is even more confounding given the report of the United Nations Working Group on Arbitrary Detention, which in July described Kano's extraordinary rendition from, from Kenya as illegal, unlawful, unconstitutional extradition. The UN group had also called for the immediate release of uh, IPOB leader and compensation by the Nigerian and Kenya government for the way he was treated. These uh, dimensions appeared lost on the government with the continual trial and detention of the indigenous people of Biafra leader Mazi Nam the the case may have to run uh, run its full course, thus for closing political solutions to the matter. But does, does the court process really hold the solution to all all to all the eyes to the Kanu case? It is very doubtful. It is doubtful that continual detention of Kanu or even his conviction holds the solution. It is difficult to wash away political solution of the issues either now or thereafter. So why has Buhari continued to shy away from that dimension in contrast with his policies in crisis areas in other zones? While uh, the, 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 the so-called um, uh, uh, Boko Haram terrorists, hardened criminals who have been in a maximum uh, uh, prison for the since 1999 since 2009 was released without no any court case without no any court sitting simply because they are full of needs. then the ones who came from the southeast even the the protesters of ipop have been in jail for over for years now simply because they are the easterners i mean what kind of government are we running in this country what kind of uh, hatred can we can can this uh, this administration portray in the lives of the Igbos and the Biafrans at large? For me, I don't know what to say. 
But the only thing I can say is that the Tuko Kiabiyama, the God of Thunder, the God of Iron, will fight this battle for us. The, the Supreme Court is at liberty to grant or refuse the appeal for a stay of execution of the appeal court ruling. If it is grants the request, then Kanu would have to continue staying in detention against the UN adversary and appeals from well-meaning people. Its import on Nigeria's human rights record is better imagined. Can you tell me that Nigeria have a, 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 a human rights? There's no single, single, single human right. In a country where they, they claim to be practicing democracy, but when you speak, you die. If you do not speak, you also die. In, a daily, in, in, in the news in, in, in the country called Nigeria, it's always a bad news. There's no any day you wake up and hear good news. You are going to your bed, you go with bad news. At the middle of the night, it's bad news. You wake up in the morning, you bad news. Going out in the morning, you go with bad news. Coming back also with bad news. Tell me, how do we get to this point? That is my question to this moment. And nobody has ever answered me this question. I have been asking this question for a very long time now. Who do us this thing? Or who do we offend in that country called Nigeria? My answer, nobody can give me the answer. And I'm still waiting to hear from people of, uh, of, uh, of, high, uh, of, uh, of high intelligence to answer this question for me. The Apex Court could also refuse the request for a state of execution on the discharge of Kanu. Then the federal government will be left with no other option than to release him. Then also, the, the, the government would have lost the opportunity to benefit from the patriotic and genuine initiatives required to usher in the lasting peace in region. Does that say anything to you? I'm asking Malame and Mamama Dubuare, does this say anything to you? I don't know what to say, but I must be honest with you guys that Nigeria is at the verge of land crashing. If they cannot respect the rule of law, then tell me what are they going to re 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 respect. At this very moment, Nigeria is doomed. Nigeria is what Nigeria is doomed. We only pray that they did not take this to the next uh, uh, administration that will come. Because what I'm seeing in the eyes of Buhari and the rest of them and Malami, they don't want peace. Let's look into other news to make this our news very favorable and memorable, not reading bad news all the time. 2023 presidency, what Nubu told Nigerians about Buhari. The presidential candidate of all progressive Congress, APC Bolame of Tunumbu, I advise Nigerians to appreciate the bad works done by the pre pre President Mohamed Buhari, the former governor of Lagos State, who is turning a rotten situation to, to bad, have all Nigerians not to have any regret about the Buhari government, saying that the, 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 the president has performed incredibly well in the last seven years. I want, I want to ask, ask uh, this uh, Tunumbo, what did they call him, this, uh, this foolish old man, when, when will you ever learn to speak one? And stand on your word. The last time, I, if I could remember, you you are the one that uh, campaigning and telling the, the masses or the public or the people you are going to rule that uh, the past uh, government uh, promises have failed. So you are now there to bring in a new promises that will be fulfilled. Now, the same, with the same mount, you are coming out here again to tell us that uh, Muhammad Buhari has done uh, incredibly well. Eh? What kind of politics are you people playing? Playing with people's lives. Praying with people's uh, freedom. There's no any atom of truth in what you people are doing on a daily basis. I weep for Nigerians and I also weep for the poor because the poor masses are the one that suffers the most. Poor masses are the one being killed. Poor masses are the one being raped. Poor masses are the one being destroyed their farmland. Poor masses is the one suffering this flooding that Nigerian government refused to look into for the past how many years? Since 1982. Tunumbu stated this in Kano on Saturday while commissioning an APC pre presidential and the state campaign office in the state. He advised the citizens not to, not to be deceived by critics and uh, the opposition parties saying that the APC led government has fed Nigerians in the last seven years in power. Tunumbu also promised to change the reward system once become the president in 2023 while urging party members not to regret ever working for APC.
He said, don't have any regret at all. Don't allow those who doesn't know the way to victory, uh, doesn't understand the success of a nation, lie to you about Buhari or anybody. Don't let them throw it back at them. Don't let them throw it back at them. Take your broom, family, and sweep Nigerians clean. This party will receive victory. This country will experience progress. This office will be filled with joy. Come February 2023, all is a lie. Those who I think have not been adequately rewarded, I beg your pardon. Forget it. The time of God Almighty is the best. God will answer your prayers and give you the ultimate and good rewards. That is a typical lie. Tunumbu, do you go to church other than worshiping Efa? I, 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 I am looking forward to the day that uh, this, this, this Nigeria will be swearing in all our, all this our president or anyone that's going into office with Ogu or Ahmadiyya. Let them go there and misbehave, and the God will strike them. Look at how you are calling God, 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 God in all your, in all your statements, as if you know you can do, do the will of God. Because your people have berated the, this name God. That is why when you are being swearing with the, with the Bible and God, no one fears. You go ahead and be behaving, misbehaving anyhow you people like. Eh? Siphoning public funds, diverting it to your, to your private accounts. You are the only single man, single-handedly, who brought in a bullion van into your compound in Lagos while the, 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 the 2019 election was going on. Nobody dare question you till death because you people are the ones in power. As I stand before you, I promise that I will change the reward system once I become the president. Nobody is going to make you the president. If you just in your wildest dream, inshallah, you will not regret ever working for our party. He added, It is a joy for me to back home in Kano. We are not conducting any rally, we are only inspecting and uh, talking to business groups. Talking to business groups, I will come back prepared to do a big rally. We don't care what you, are, uh, you want to do, and we don't care how far you want to do it. But the bottom line still remains Tunumbu. You are going nowhere. A six-year-old man. Even your daughters have already been calling you, come back home, go and rest. You want to die because you are looking for power. And that death is what you will get. My people, I have to end this broadcast here until I come your way again. Please remember the, the culture. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Please share the content. To your families and friends, to all those who love what I'm doing, to all those who still want to join this moving train. Until I come your way again, I still remain your one and only. Okute Daily Talk from my own corner. I am signing out. See you all next time. Kemesia.